What's good with y'all? It's Cameron in the video straight like that. Comment down below what you want to see next one. Like, subscribe, brand new. And let's hop right into it, man. Angel timing as usual, bruh. This video is going to change your life because I'm going to be teaching you a skill that you can use to actually find happiness in your life and to actually improve your life as a whole, bruh. And you know what I'm saying? This is going to help with all areas, whether it's like money and success, whether it's with women, relationships, whether it's with, um, it's, it can pretty much cover everything, bruh. And this is one thing that, that a lot of self-improvement people do not let you know of they don't tell you this bro now before we get into it make sure that you hit the like button on the video bro if you're rocking with me and if you want to see more from me bro make sure you hit it so we can get in this algorithm so anyway the most important skill that you can learn for your life is to learn how to be grateful bro and understand that being grateful is such an underrated skill because it actually leads to you being at a higher level than most people and the reason why is because let's really break down what self-improvement is used for people use self-improvement so that they can get happier so they can feel more fulfilled in your life you do self-improvement because you got heartbroken because you got um you didn't you got passed up on your promotion at work or whatever it was you know what i'm saying you use the self-improvement because you want to get to a certain spot in life but what you have to understand is that if you really truly want to be happy, it's not about what you don't have. It's about what you do have already. And this is a very difficult concept for people to grasp because they hear, oh, being grateful. And they're like, oh, yeah, whatever. Nobody want to hear this. And I get it, bro, because I've been in your shoes, bro. Like everyone tells you to be grateful, be grateful. But how can I just sit here and be grateful for what I have when I want this? I want the Lambo. I want the Bugatti. I want the big house. How can you be grateful for what you have when all you have is not that much? But what you have to realize is that you actually do have a lot more than most people. People, to be honest if you're watching this video right now you have a laptop or a phone or some some way to view this video bro you have some way to view this video that shows me right there that you at least have some sort of blessings in your life you at least have something be grateful for that be grateful for that be grateful for the fact that you are even alive this morning you know what i'm saying and i understand how difficult that could be bro because life has so many ups and downs but realize that the better you get at being grateful for the little things the happier your life will be because you will require less to be happy and realize that if you master this skill of being more grateful you'll actually feel more fulfilled and more successful than the highest top one percent guys bro you know what i'm saying i mean i've explained this before the highest one percent dudes they always got the money and the riches and the fame but ultimately that's not what brings people happiness they're still avoiding them you know why there's avoiding them because what you have to realize is that it's a paradox as you get more successful and more famous and more valuable materially what you have to understand is that something comes with that and what comes with that is greed greed basically is you always wanting more you'll never really be satisfied and that's the problem with a lot of dudes you always want more girls how do i get more girls how do i get more money how do i get more of this more of this more of that but what you have to understand is that the more you get the more greedy you're going to get because you're going to be expecting more bro i have personal experience with this bro i've been in your shoes i've been in your position to where I'm expecting something out of myself. You know what I'm saying? I've been like, let me let me break down, but let me open up to y'all, bro. This YouTube channel, for example, bro, this YouTube channel, I used to pray, pray to get 10,000 subscribers. I hit 10,000 subscribers and then all of a sudden in my mind, I'm like, dang, but like, that's not even enough. I'm on 20,000. I hit 20,000. I'm like, dang, let's hit 50,000. I hit 50,000. I'm like, dang, let's hit 100,000. And it's always just going up and up and up. And what I started to realize is that I was never really satisfied. You know what I'm saying? I look at my views. I'm like, let's hit this amount in a certain day. Let's, th let's hit this like goal. Let's hit this. Let's hit that. And every time I hit it, I'm always unsatisfied you want to know why because i hit it and then i go into the future and i'm expecting even higher expectations and i'm not hitting those expectations and i'm like dang and i forget that i actually prayed for and was and, and, and was putting in the work to get to where i am now i forget about everything that i did i forget about all the work i put in and that's the problem with a lot of people not just me but with you too bro whatever you do Every time you put in work, always remember the work that you put in. Be grateful for the spot that you're in now. Because if you don't remember it, then you're never really going to be truly satisfied. You're never going to feel that fulfillment inside of you. And if you never feel that true satisfaction, then what are you really working for? What is the point of working if you can't feel the satisfaction of, of what you're working for? And understand that that fulfillment doesn't even come from material things. We already know it comes from God, bro. It comes from the Lord. You know what I'm saying? You know, it, so, so, so really, if you're working for all these material items and you never, it's never... You know what I'm saying? Enough for you. It's never enough. Everyone everyone is in this culture of it's never enough. I need more, 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 more. For what? Just so that you can pass away and it all goes away. Now you can't take none of this to the grave, bro. You can't take none of it to the grave. You have to learn how to be more grateful so that you can be happier in your life, bro. This is with all aspects. Business, girls, doesn't matter, bro. A lot of dudes, like I said, they always, how can I get more women? How can I attract better looking women? Better looking women, better, more women, more women. But 
how are you gonna be asking for more women when you can't even appreciate the women that's around you right now? You can't appreciate the women that's around you right now. It's kind of, it's almost like it's almost like y'all wanna <laughs> y'all 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 want a girl that's 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 wife material, but you're not even husband material yourself. You're not even grateful for the for the girls that's right in front of you. It's probably a girl that that got good qualities right in front of you right now. Good looking, got 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 great qualities or and stuff like that. But you don't want her because she's not on Instagram. You don't want her because she's not easy. You don't want her because she's not in the club all the time. She's not at all the kickbacks and stuff like that, bro. You want the girl that's out there because she's perceived as as more valid, as more wanted and stuff like that. You're not even grateful for what's in front of you. You know what I'm saying? People always want more. I mean, that's why you watch the hub, right? You watch the hub because you're not grateful for what's in front of you. You're not great. You're not just cool just being you. You always need some sort of stimulation. And when you always need some sort of stimulation, understand that you will never be happy. Not even not not just on a uh, on a on a, uh, a spiritual scale, but not even on a, a a biological scale. Because if you constantly feeding yourself serotonin from from this and this and that, and understand that you can get it from a lot of things, whether it's the hub, whether it's money, uh, girls, whether it's it could be literally anything. Whatever your vice is, you get a whole bunch of serotonin from that. And then when you don't have it. Well, you're not happy anymore on a biological scale, bro. You know what I'm saying? I don't know all the chemicals, but you get what I'm talking about, bro. The dopamine, the, the serotonin, it all decreases as soon as you're not stimulating your brain. And that's what happens when you're ungrateful. When you're ungrateful, you actually end up being unhappy. So that's what you need to start doing is being more grateful in your life. And I guarantee that things will start to turn up way, way more than they are right now. Because you constantly wanting for more things, bro. It's a verse in the Bible, bro. And I, and you know what? I don't, I don't even know it word for word, bro. But basically, long and short of it is that if you keep wanting to, if you keep uh, uh, drinking from the water that the world provides, you always going to be thirsty. But if you drink from the water that Jesus provides, that God provides, then you ain't never going to be thirsty again. In other words, bro, get your soul right. Become more grateful for what you have already been blessed with. Now understand, too, that life itself is a blessing. It is a blessing to wake up. And we take this for granted all the time. It's only when somebody, why is it that only when somebody that passes away, it's when someone passes away is the only time that we're grateful for life. Why are we not grateful for life 100% of the time? And I'm not even saying that I'm always grateful for life 100% of the time. This is where I'm at with my self-improving journey myself. I'm trying to work on becoming more grateful for what's around me. You feel me? But as soon as we can get to that point, if we can get to that point of being grateful for just having uh, have, having, having woke up this morning, then understand that our life will increase tenfold, bro. And realize that you will actually attract more and more things into your life, better things into your life when you're grateful. You want to know why? Because when you out here, you know, you constantly thirsting for more, you know what I'm saying? Everything's, everything's value kind of decreases. In other words, like, um, okay, let's say that I get, I start earning $500,000 a year, something crazy like that. Okay, I'm earning $500,000 a year consistently. Over time, if I'm ungrateful for the amount that I'm earning, that 500,000, the value of it in my mind is gonna continually go down and down and down to the point where I'm like, oh man, who cares about this $500,000 a year? Even though people would literally like do anything to earn that amount of money. That's a crazy amount of money, 500K a year, bro. And we take that for granted all the time. Everyone is, is, is caught up on, you know, oh, as a man, you gotta make six figures, you gotta make six figures. Well, understand that most people aren't making six figures. Most people aren't making six figures. It's great to make six figures, but most people aren't making that type of money, bro. Let's just be honest here. You know what I'm saying? Maybe if, if we talk about dual income, but single man, most people are not making six figures a year. It's cool to not make six figures a year, bro. It's not like that is a very high threshold. But so many like so many people that is my age and stuff like that is always so obsessed with making more money and more money, bro. What you have to understand is that if you're not happy right now, if you're not happy broke, if you can't be happy broke, if you can't be happy single, then understand that you won't be happy with a girlfriend and you won't be happy with money, bro. Because can't none of that bring you real happiness, bro. You have to be grateful for what is in front of you. And now understand this too. It's not even about complacency because a lot of people will be like, oh, well, you know, I don't want to get complacent. It's not about complacency because what complacency is, is if you get to a certain spot and then you just stop working hard, you obviously have to work hard for, for, for what you uh but for what you want in this life, you know what I'm saying? If you want something that's at this level, then you're going to have to work at this level at all times, bro. But complacency is when you just like, okay, I got here now. Like, I'm done. I'm going to just stop working. You know what I'm saying? That's what complacency is. But being content and being grateful for what you have is actually when you look at, dang, look at all the work I've done. Like, I'm so blessed. And you recognize that, you know what I'm saying? And you love what's already there. That's the difference between the two, bro. Complacency is what you want to avoid. But when you understand how to be more grateful, then realize that things are going to get better for you. Now, understand this. 
I know it's difficult to be grateful, but there are steps that you can take to start with, bro. You know what I'm saying? You can start with um, some people like to journal. Personally, I'm not a journaler myself. Um, I write things down on my phone sometimes. Everyone works differently or whatever, but you can start journaling things down that you're that you're grateful for. You know what I'm saying? Just little and, and, and little things too. Don't don't write big things or nothing like that. Like if you found like like a hundred thousand a hundred dollars on the street or something like that, you know what I'm saying? Like obviously you could write that down. But what I'm saying is focus on really the little things. The smaller the thing, the better, bro. Because when you appreciate small things, bro, realize that you can be way more effective in life. And another thing too, bro, I would say stay off of social media more, bro. And I know this is very cliche, but the more you stay off social media, the more you'll stop comparing yourself to other people. Because that is the biggest, biggest detriment to, get, uh, to, to being grateful. When you compare yourself to others, you can never really truly be happy with what you have because you always gonna look and be like, dang, look how he's being blessed. Look how, look what he got, look what he got. But what you gotta understand is about, is that what other people got can't compare to what you got because they got a whole different situation. You know what I'm saying? Like if you, let's say that you a content creator and you posting reels or, or TikToks or something like that and you look at another creator with the same amount of followers and they get way more views, they, they, they're way more explosive with it, bro. What you gotta understand is that, bro, even though they might be having more views, they got a whole different situation. Maybe if you keep going, you have more views one day if you keep your head down because you got a more niche group that you talking to, you feel me? And this is a very important thing for young men to learn. The younger you can learn this, uh, the the younger you can learn this skill, the better, bro. I promise you. Because as you get as you get more and more successful in life in whatever area, it's going to be harder and harder and harder for you to become grateful. Actually, bro, because you'll be way more materialistic. You'll be way more results based. And you, if you learn this from a very young age, bro, if you learn this while you, because I know a lot of y'all is like high school, early college age, bro. If you learn this right now, I promise you, you will have the jump on the top 1%, top 5% of dudes. The top 5% of dudes are unhappy. I'm telling you, you can be more happy than them. And that is ultimately going to put you way in, in a higher bracket than even the considered five, top 5%, bro. You'll be in a higher bracket than them because you will have something that they keep chasing. They keep chasing peace. They keep chasing, you know, happiness and fulfillment, bro. But if you follow the right way, if you follow the Lord and you become more grateful, bro, you will already have what the top 5% are looking for. And understand that that's something that's priceless. It can't be bought from you, bro. You know what I'm saying? They, it can't nobody take that from you. Because you can take that even into death if you put your faith in Jesus. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, that's all I got for y'all today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure that you like and subscribe if you're rocking with me. Love y'all. I'm out of here. Peace.